welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at the um, Han Solo Stormtrooper action figure that I believe is a Target exclusive. Um, this released the same day that the retro reviews, uh, or the retro, dang it every time, retro collection figures and um, the Black Series Target exclusive Luke um, at, in Stormtrooper disguise after he goes through the... Um, trash compactor um, but anyways we do have a Han Solo here and he is actually pretty greatly needed because they they did a new Luke for, since the power of the force they did a new Luke around 2008 I think and I have that figure I found him on vacation one year and they never did a Han Solo to compliment him so we finally have one like 10 years later um, and I'm really excited about this I found this in the men's section of Target because Father's Day is approaching if not already here by the time this video is up um, did find it there he was the only one they had no other retro collection or anything he was the lone figure in that area but I am happy to have gotten him like I said I think he's a Target exclusive um, but he is in the you know vintage collection um, card back which is really cool you get a picture of Han Solo here um, it looks very nice um, on the back it's VC 143 so he's number 143 I think that numbering goes off of the original vintage collection that they did a couple years back I think they just picked it up um, but you can see here who's considered on this wave with Han Solo um, which is figures that um, we've not really seen out. I've not seen any of these guys out. Um, so yeah, we have that. So let me go ahead and open this guy up for you. Um, hopefully I find another one, maybe keep him in package. I don't know, it's less important to me nowadays, but I'll go ahead and open him up and give you guys a closer look. Alrighty, and here is on Solo out of the package. Um, he is fantastic, but before we get into him, I do want to show you the accessories, which include a blaster rifle, and you can see some detail here, some little silver paint. Um, with the black, so it's pretty simple. Um, but he does come with one of those, always nice, since he's dressed up as a stormtrooper, of course. And then he comes with a um, stormtrooper helmet, which looks really, really good. I think that they did a great job on the sculpt with this. The likeness is very, very good. Um, you've got little bitty paint applications on it that are all very nice and clean. He looks great. <laughs> Um, and then here is Han Solo, and first thing you might notice is how well detailed his face is. They did a really good job. This looks just like Harrison Ford. They did the photo reel imagery, I think, for this figure, um, which is nice to see them doing in a three and three quarter inch, and he just looks fantastic. He looks awesome. Um, his hair looks really good as well. Then, of course, he's in a Stormtrooper um, costume. I think that this is... This is a 2009 Stormtrooper body. I can see it on the back of his leg here. So they reused his body, but its head is definitely new and it looks fantastic. Um, in terms of articulation, he has a ball jointed head, um, shoulders, elbows, swivel wrists. He has a ball jointed torso, um, hips, uh, knees, and um, ankles. So on the back, he also does have a blaster um, carrier, I guess where they would put their blasters. It's squished very flat, <laughs> so it'll take a second to pop out. Yeah, and it's gonna stay in there probably pretty weird. It's not gonna look very normal. I could play with it more, but that's the job I got from just trying it in just that one time. It's gonna look weird and I gotta get it out. Yeah, it's not an all the way holster. It's like really flat, so it just goes on the underside. I mean, it carries it, I guess, but it's very odd. Um, here's Han Solo with the helmet on which still looks really accurate. It does not blow him out of proportion in the head. Um, that looks great. I'm very impressed with that. Um, they did a really good job. I definitely see why people were wanting this figure. I actually did bring the um, Stormtrooper Luke to compare him with because um, just it mostly in terms of the Stormtrooper body. Now this Luke's face is pretty atrocious, um, but compared to Han Solo, yeah, it's pretty put to shame here. But you can see the differences with the um, Stormtrooper bodies. You definitely have some black paint detail um, everything's just a little bit different. This one is a 2000, a 2005 Stormtrooper body versus a 2009. So you can kind of see some differences. We definitely have more movement in the hips. Um, they both have blaster carriers in the back or holsters. Um, the little tubes on the backs of their belts on solos has color. Um, Luke's does not. Um, but overall, it looks really cool. It's awesome to have both of them. Um, it's weird because they released this one and then a, a six-inch version of Luke, and they really need to re-release Luke because I call this one Michael Jackson Luke because his nose is so small. Um, it's just really out of proportion. Um, but I think that it's great, honestly, though, that now we have both. Um, Luke's helmet is the big problem here, is it just looked really, really bad. Um, if you compare it with the Han Solo one that just came out, you can see how vastly different they are. 
and it's, I mean, a huge difference and not accurate really. Um, but they tried, I suppose. Um, comparing them both to the head on their heads, um, you definitely get a larger head aspect, like look with the Luke than you do with the Han Solo. Han Solo looks a lot more natural wearing his helmet than Luke does. Of course, it's a different time. We're in 2019 now, so um, I do expect um, as much to come out of these figures. But overall, I'm really impressed with this Han Solo. I think they did a fantastic job, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and if you want to see more videos, please subscribe and stay tuned. I always have um, more coming. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. This Han Solo is awesome. Yes. Until next time, guys. Bye.